Thank you, Mr. President. I rise today to oppose Stephen Bradbury's nomination to serve as General Counsel at the Department of Transportation. Mr. President, the General Counsel position at DOT oversees and makes critical judgments about legal work that impacts public safety, development, and innovation that drives our economy. But unfortunately, Mr. Bradbury's previous actions during his time at the Department of Justice show that he lacks the judgment and commitment to our shared values that are a prerequisite for any lawyer privileged to serve the people of the United States of America. During his time as the acting head of the Department of Justice's Office of Legal Counsel, Mr. Bradbury was one of three primary lawyers who helped lay the groundwork for the Bush administration's defense of what they described as, quote, enhanced interrogation techniques. The so-called torture memos that Mr. Bradbury helped write were used to justify the Bush administration's decision to use torture that included extreme sleep deprivation, cramped confinement, and waterboarding. Mr. Bradbury helped find legal loopholes that were an affront to our American values. And he failed to fulfill the special responsibility that all lawyers have for the quality of justice in our legal system. Mr. Bradbury's past government service reflects a lack of sound legal judgment. In fact, a 2009 review by the Department of Justice raised questions about the objectivity and reasonableness of the conclusions found in the memos he authored. Rather than standing up for our values and laws, Mr. Bradbury deferred to the wishes and pressure of the president he was serving. Furthermore, Mr. President, during his confirmation hearing, when referring to his legal justification for these so-called enhanced interrogation techniques, Mr. Bradbury stated, and this is a quote, if I had my druthers, I wouldn't have engaged in having to address those issues, close quote. If Mr. Bradbury preferred to not engage in tough legal questions at the time, then he should not have been serving in the Office of Legal Counsel. And he should not be confirmed for a general counsel position now. By definition, the job of general counsel is to deal with difficult legal questions. Mr. President, it's clear that Mr. Bradbury is unwilling to provide the sound legal judgment and impartiality necessary for this role. He has demonstrated in the past that his legal analysis is flawed, he lacks a commitment to America's values, and his actions have had truly dangerous implications for our nation. I will oppose this nomination, and I urge my colleagues to do the same. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor, and I note the absence of a quorum. Clerk will call the roll. Mr. Alexander.